Goldman's time with Bell Helicopter this morning here at HAI. A brand new helicopter, well, I won't say brand new, but a, a greatly upgraded helicopter was revealed. Tell us about this new 407GX. Well, the 407GX that's behind me is, in fact, uh, the leading edge of cockpit integration. Uh, we integrated, uh, along with Garmin, the G1000H, which is, in the fixed wing world, the G1000 is a common name, but for the helicopter world, this is the very first installation on a, on a helicopter, and it's been certified by Transport Canada, and it is now available for consumers. So what is the importance of having that kind of integration in a glass cockpit and a helicopter? Well, specifically for this aircraft and the integration that we've done, it incorporates a lot of the individual safety features that helicopters have to be upgraded with, uh, things like uh, HTAWS, things like synthetic vision, and it builds it into integrated screens in the cockpit. It has two 10.4 inch video monitors built by Garmin, and it is it's totally integrated. It's something that you do not have to go to an aftermarket or a customizing house to have put in. It's built in. Tell us about the development process. How did you come to determine that it was going to be a Garmin product, and then how long did it take for you to actually work it into the into the aircraft? Well, the need for a glass cockpit in the 407, it, it, it's been known to us for quite a while. Uh, we went through a, a very rigorous uh, selection process for the for the glass cockpit supplier and the Garmin product that we selected uh, we just couldn't pass it up and the Garmin guys and girls that we've worked with since then it have just been a joy it, it went together very easily the product went from that selection to what you see on the on the stand right now in about 19 months what is the importance of glass in a helicopter why is it why is there a, such a demand right now for that glass cockpit in rotor wing aircraft? Well, the, the, the biggest thing everybody touts for glass is safety. It reduces pilot workload because it puts everything right there in front of them. It overlays many, many different features to where the pilot doesn't have to switch between different gauges. It also offers, especially on this particular aircraft, so many optional and uh, customizable features that a pilot can really tailor the cockpit to himself. As a matter of fact, uh, there are options in the cockpit to have memorized fields for individual pilots. So that way, when you go in, you touch a button, that pilot's profile comes up. Similar to like you get into a car with a, with a one or two uh, buttons, it sets it up for them. Now there's another version of this aircraft that was also revealed this morning, and it's got a few, um, shall we say, additional options that you might not find in the civilian market. Yeah, those options are a little bit uh, different in nature, obviously not avionics, and uh, that's our 407AH. It was born of a, a need for the industry to have a low-cost uh, armed helicopter. So what we did is we started with what we were calling the, the parapublic baseline, which include FLIR, protection systems, let's put it that way, and uh, integrates uh, weapons. So the combination of the two makes it a very affordable platform for, for cost-conscious militaries. Do you have any specific customers in mind for that aircraft at this point? Yes, but we can't talk about it. There are certain things, and especially the customers, they've asked not to be named, but uh, there are customers that are interested. It generated a lot of interest even before the show. It wasn't announced, but uh, word of it had gotten out. So we have already been uh, speaking with many customers. What are some of the special considerations that go into converting a civilian helicopter into a military helicopter? The biggest things about military helicopters is the vibration and the shock and uh, gas ingestion of, of rockets and, and, and bullets, for that matter. You gotta be real careful when you integrate onto an aircraft what kind of flight profile and what kind of flight characteristics you modify because, quite frankly, there are big draggy things hanging out the side of the airplane. Changes the way the aircraft flies. But other than that, that particular aircraft has a heritage dating back into the uh, OH-58 products. Very, very reliable. Uh, it's been proven out in, in the Army's OH-58D product, even though that's not it. That is, the, is its heritage, though. And of course, it occurs to me that Bell Helicopter does have a long military heritage of its own. Yes, absolutely. In the uh, aforementioned OH-58D, the Cobras, the uh, Hueys, the venerable V-22, I mean, that, that thing in itself is a, is a technological marvel. Steve Mildenstein from Bell Helicopter, thanks very much for talking with us on Aero TV. You're very welcome. Thank you very much. Aero TV is brought to you by... Integra Release 9 sets a new standard with the easiest to use pilot interface in all of general aviation. 
Access to any of Release 9's powerful capabilities is simple as pressing the desired bi-directional page key. Pressing the same key in a desired direction navigates to the clearly labeled tabs with no more guessing as to what a given pilot input would do. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology and the easiest to use page and tab user interface is just one of the many benefits designed to make your flying easier and safer.